I think I think one of the uh, oh boy one of the fun things about doing this show is uh, it's getting to see different YouTube personalities and uh, different people lose their minds and, and finding different fandoms. Now, according to this fandom, the Joe Rogan's Fierce fandom, we don't crush enough. There's there's no crushing for us. Um, and that, of course, is your only value as a human being, by the way, is how much you crush. Yeah, dude, you got to crush. So we've talked on the show before about uh, Brendan Schaub, um, his little snafu. Would you call his, it a snafu? His faux pas. His faux pas. Where he uh, was talking about had a guy that uh, contacted his show. Both guys going bald. <clears throat> he said, Brendan, you know, I, I like you, respect you, look up to you, man. I need some advice. I'm going bald. I'm afraid I'm just not going to do it with the ladies anymore. Brendan Child proceeded to tell him and reassure him that don't worry, there's plenty of bald guys out there slinging dick. And he went on to name Dana White, Joe Rogan, and then he looked like he accidentally killed somebody's baby. That's correct. Like he just went, ah. Like he looked like he made the face you'd make if, if Roy said, I just had a baby. Would you like to hold it, Mersh? And I literally dropped it to many LED. It's the same face. They su uh. they, they subsequently uh, started copy uh, uh, copyright blocking worldwide. Anybody that would have that clip or was even talking about it. And they took down the episode. And they took down the episode and the audio episode and edited out that part and put it back up. But that was the end of it. Brennan then decided. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Brennan then decided on his one of his five podcasts, the Below the Belt, the reason he had a Showtime special podcast. Um, he went on to say that you know because I think what happened is they realized, look, the cat's out of the bag. Too many people are talking about it. In Brennan, in his, in his, in his infinite wisdom, infinite wisdom. Thank you, Mike. In his infinite wisdom, decided. Joe Rogan probably wants this to go away. I know what I'll do. I'll talk about it some more. I'll talk about it some more. So he decided to go on his below the belt thing, and he explained, um, and of course I'm paraphrasing here, that sling and dick, or slang and dick, whichever way you want to say it, him and his buddies mean like doing well in life, doing well. good in life. Crushing it. Crushing, crushing it. it yeah. Even though, again, of course, the question was, I'm trying to have sex, but I'm a bald guy. <laughs> you know, it was specifically a question about I'm going bald and women will desire me less. That was the right. basis for the entire thing. Right. Um, and, and then imagine getting annoyed at the audience. You're the fucked up one for your mind going there. So <laughs> on the Kill Tony uh, podcast, live stream, whatever you want to call it, uh, well, Mike, you explain this one. They had a comic up there. If you want to set, set this one up for us. So Kill Tony, you know, they, they bring a lot of these comics on that are they're open micers, and then they make fun of them and stuff like that, whatever. And there's always a panel with, with, uh, with an established act in there. So uh, the open micers, generally speaking, they are open micers, but they're open micers that have been doing open mics. They're around. They're doing the Ice House. They're doing the Comedy Store. They're doing that L.A., that whole Yale thing. Yeah. Um, so they kind of have an idea of what's going on with these people. So... Uh, the other night, uh, Kill Tony had Doug Benson on as their guest. We <laughs> do so awesome. Doug weed. Benson probably said four words. This whole episode. Was it we? And they were all weed. Was like, yeah. yeah. At one point, that's all I heard from him was yeah. At one point, he seemed like he, he just seemed like he was all fucked up. So anyway, so who are the people on this panel? One's Doug Benson. One is Doug Benson. Uh, and one is obviously Tony Hinchcliffe, right? Tony Hinchcliffe, mm -hmm. Brian, Brian Redband. Brian Redband, uh huh. Yeah, and then that uh, old Jamie is what you have to call him. And that young blonde lady there. Now, who's the young blonde lady? Her name is Ali. Fucking what's her name? Ali Makovsky. I, I, you know, I, I just saw that it auto filled because you've already done the research. Ali Makovsky. That's why I panicked. Yeah. I was looking a up last night for. I, was, I wanted to be ready for the show. Ali what? Ali Makovsky. I knew if I typed in Ali, it was yeah. going to auto fill for me. So Ali Makovsky. Uh, is one of the women sitting there at at the table, and, and I guess she's she's opened for Rogan before. Am I correct she's, by saying that she's touring with Rogan currently? She's his opener. Oh, she's Rogan's opener right now. I got it. Okay, and uh, well, things got a little weird here. Okay, so let's play the first clip, mm -hmm. and the the person talking that you're hearing is the open micer that's talking to the panel. Correct. Yes. Uh, okay. The open micer is the Puerto Rican chick here. All right, I backed it. I backed up just a little bit. So <laughs> oh my God! 
<laughs> I, l I like when women fight. Can I place bet now? <laughs> <laughs> Lorena, is that your first time doing stand-up comedy? Um, fifth. fifth. Imagine talking like Tony Hinchcliffe, but like on purpose. Lorena. He's hard to listen to. It's tough, right? Yeah. Were the yeah, other times in Puerto yeah. Rico? Or wait, no. You said you've lived here for what? Ten years? Like ten years. And I oh, started cool. recently, yeah. Oh, awesome. And you came straight from Puerto Rico to L.A.? Yes. That's yes. an interesting trip. What made you come straight here instead of Florida like the rest of them? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted the American dream. I wanted to become Sofia Vergara and all that bullshit. So Fuck yeah. 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 So I'm still not even close to that shit. But <laughs> Yeah, you know the old story about how Sofia Vergara started in stand-up comedy? Now you talk, bitch, with me. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> these two are now you're talking to definitely me. Puerto Rican. She did not talk the entire show, and now she's talking. Oh oh <laughs> Let's talk about racism. Let's racist, racist, racist. Wait like I it. did not hear her once, and now she sees a Puerto Rican, and it's like, oh my god, mommy, it's probably oh. hotter than me. Fixing your hair in the bathroom when I was talking. No, no, I never saw. Okay, good. fine, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Joe Rogan is fucking hot. I want to fuck him too. Oh. <laughs> so that was the Woo! first. Uh, <laughs> that was the first one. So hot, 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 yeah, hot. Somebody sent this to me. Last Joe Rogan's hot, yeah. and I want to fuck him too. Two. So that was the first one. And that was the first time I was like, somebody sent this to me last night right at the end of Night Wave. And I was like this. I was like, guys, well, take care. We're going to see you tomorrow. On the and I just froze. And I'm like, oh, no, this is spicy. Uh, so this was the f only clip I saw last night. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the Reddit thread. I followed up after the show. I'm like, ah, I got to get this ready for Revenge of the Sis. So I was reading the thread. And uh, I see people talking about... Um, on Reddit, like, is this true? Like, what's this shit calling out? Is this Ali Mikofsky, the one that he's been fucking, whatever? So I thought it was it, it ended there. Well, turns out uh, that the, the, it continued. All right, let's see. Me time? Fuck. Yeah, me, me time. <laughs> Trying to find my bottle. <laughs> um, and I saw a mole, and yeah. And I got it checked, and it was cancer. Heck yeah. Woo! Yeah, girl. Oh, Ali's got a <laughs> mic. What do you got? Anything? Oh my fun? god. No, nothing. Just. I, I feel like I, I, I've never seen. By the way, you. I want to pause. Pause. You can already see she's pissed. Oh yeah. Here's what ha you you want you want to know my theory. I this is my theory. Of course. Again, guys, this is my theory. I have no idea what really happened. I have a feeling that this. Uh, what's her name? Ali Makowski. Um, Makowski. Makowski. Sorry, Ali Makowski probably knows this girl from before this because they probably do, do open mics together or you know fucking came up through doing comedy together at the same place right that yeah, would not sense. know like they, i don't think Pro they were they, they know they know each other professionally but they've been at show like they've been at little things yeah. and i think they don't like each other it could be yeah right well i don't know if they don't like each other or i don't know if it was one of those things one where of them's puerto rican was Okay, so they probably don't like each other. But, <laughs> but I, women, Puerto Rican women. I, but, but I think that if they don't like each other, it's one of those they don't like each other but are courteous to each other when they talk. Yeah. And I think at some point, and this is my guess, that maybe I'm wrong. And look, I could 100% concede that maybe Rogan is not fucking this Ali Makovsky. Yeah? Sure, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's not. I, he might maybe not be. Not. I, he might not be. But this feels to me like one of those things when you go, hey, man, between me and you. To try to one-up her, fuck Joe Rogan. The other night, I fucked Joe Rogan. And that's like, well, and that's why I'm open to for him. Like, something like that. And now she's like, oh, yeah, well, you like you fucked Joe Rogan. So um, I don't even, th nah, I don't think she said anything to her about it. I think it's. A rumor? This is a thing that's kind of just known in that scene, I think. I think this is, whether it's true or not, is something that's been getting passed around. Right. And it's established now that. It, at least among it's the consensus is that they're fucking so it gets around and the open mic the open micers are the worst because they're the ones that are most bitter so they're like pretty fucking I would be opening for Rogan I'm fucking better they put you know he wants to fuck this shit. you know what I mean that's where right. all that shit starts to fester so it's out there um, probably in that scene and this bitch has heard that before and, and nailed her alright so let, let's have more joy when she mentions the fact that she had cancer. It just you just keep smiling ear to ear every time she brings it up. Like you're the one that like put it on her leg or something like that. 
And who are the two guys behind her dressed like the Beastie Boys? The surviving Beastie Boys. Uh, that's the band. Oh. They are all comedians themselves. Got it. The guy with the saxophone is actually Jeremiah Watkins. I've mentioned him before. He is legitimately probably the only funny one in that whole scene. Okay. Jeremiah Watkins is next level funny. And uh, it's a shame because he's kind of like just Tony Hinchcliffe's bitch boy. Like Mermaid Boy for Sarah Weinshank? But he's way funnier than any of the people on this stage. Smiling ear to ear every time she brings it up. Like you're the one that like put it on her leg or something like that. No, it's really sad. <laughs> it's sad Fuck. that you survived. <laughs> <laughs> She's just having fun. No, no, totally. She's I give it to her. I mean... She's with Joe Rogan. I can't compete with that. So. Twice now. That's twice now. That's twice now. You feel the awkward energy? I feel it. I had to stretch. Royce, I had to stretch. Do you feel the awkward? I had to stretch. The awkward. Did you see me stretching? The awkward Royce? energy. Did you see the stretch? <laughs> I would be fucking bro. And by the way, if that were me, and this were my uh, potential indiscretions being brought up, I would be furious right now. Especially if you're touring with this por- person currently, so then people start going, oh, that makes sense. You know, they're fucking on the road. You know what I mean? On the road, they're fucking. <sighs> like, if I were married, I wouldn't have a female opener, period. It's just nothing. I, mean, I probably would never have a female opener anyway because I want to have a good opener. Right. Uh, but I, Yeah, but you don't want to be too good. A, I wouldn't have a female opener. And if I did, it would be like a... It would be like a, a Rebel Wilson looking bitch. You know what I mean? Like a Melissa McCarthy looking right. Monique. An actual funny woman, yeah. Yeah, but it wouldn't be like I wouldn't if I were married and I had a stepdaughter and all that, I wouldn't be touring with that. Because you'd be like, Yeah, he's fucking her. Like even and again, I'm not saying because oh yeah, what you were why don't you just not cheat on your wife? How about you just not, and sure, you're right, that is but I wouldn't want to open up the door. To any sort of bitter open micers being like, they're fucking. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want, I'd be like, no, I just can't tour with you because I'm a married guy and you can understand how this would look, right? You know, we're booking hotels together. It's just, there's, they, never in the history of a man and a woman uh, both being successful and attractive and working around each other, in the history of that, has there not been rumors and innuendo. So to spare my wife and kids that, I just don't get. Look, why don't you just tour with Tony Hinchcliffe or Brian Redman? Right. Why don't you grab Jeremiah Watkins? That guy's hilarious. So, yeah. Well, no, that's Good true. For you. You, yeah. you definitely can't compete with yeah. that. You are correct. <laughs> I don't know how, how you were going to twist that into a joke. She's not happy. Look, look, look. She's not happy. She's pissed. Look at that face. She well, she wasn't happy the first time because she was making jokes about being happy that she, you know, did, you know was, was sad she didn't die of cancer. She right. was pissed after the first one. The second one, it's like, oh, okay, dude, now you're... Yeah, that's the first one she was already losing her composure, and right. then the second one, it was like, now you're pushing it. 